Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys 10 tips on how to pass any form, any exam you are preparing for. So if this is your first time on this channel, of course, do not forget to like this video, subscribe, and drop a comment to tell me what you think about this video. The first tip on my list is to start reading now. It's never too late. Go grab your book and start reading now. It's never too late. Either you are in SS1 or in SS2 or you just finish secondary school or high school, whichever grade or position you are, it's never too late. You can start reading now and make sure to start very early before the exam. You won't want to wait till you when it's like a month before the exam or two months before the exam before you grab your book and start reading. No, it doesn't work that way. That was not best for you. So start reading now and read early. Start reading early before the exam. This will really help you. The next tip is to read according to the syllabus. So whichever topic, whichever subject you are preparing for, be it maths, English, economics, there's always a syllabus for this subject. So it's always good to have this syllabus and read according to those syllabus, to those subjects because I read, yeah, I read according to the syllabus because they are more likely to bring out questions from these topics than the syllabus. So focus on the syllabus they bring and make sure to get familiar with the syllabus because this will really help you in the upcoming exam. My next tip is to read with recommended textbook. So on every topic, on every subject rather, there is always a recommended textbook for you guys to help you guys for that exam. So check those recommended textbook. Be sure you read those recommended textbook because they are more likely to set these questions from those textbooks. So once you practice with this textbook, once you study with this textbook, it will help you in passing your exam. My next tip, which is the fourth tip, is to study past questions. This is another great step in passing your exam. Try studying past questions because this will really help you. Like in most cases during the exam, they usually repeat past questions like for example Waek, Neko, they usually repeat past questions of the previous day. So try to study these past questions because not only will you get familiar with these questions but you also know how they set these questions and it will really help you in your exam. Like what I do is I pick like first 1 to 50 questions in like a year like 1998 for example, I pick 1 to 50 questions, I practice those questions, I move to the next year, I pick 1 to 50, till I cover the whole past question. That's how I do it. Then I go back again and I continue from 51 to 100 and I keep doing it like that. We, if you keep doing it like this, in like a month or two, you realize that you've gotten familiar with the whole past question. So try to study past question because this will really help you and, get fam and make you get familiar with the questions they set and how they set it. Next tip, focus on your main subject. Now what I mean by focusing on your main subject is to pay more attention to the subject that are more important to you, read more on the subject that are more important to you. Like for example, a commercial student who wants to study accounting, his main subject should be Maths, English, Commerce, Economics, Accounts. Now, focusing on your main subjects will help improve you in those subjects because you'll be spending more time and putting more energy into studying those subjects and this will help you in your exam. So even though you fail with other subjects, as long as you pass in those subjects that are more important to you and your course, it will help you in moving to the next step in your exam. The next tip is to forget about expo or bronze or malpractice, whatever they call it. Forget about this. Once you start having the mindset that they are going to help you or assist you in your exam, you won't be serious in this upcoming exam. So try to forget about expo. Do not have the mindset that they are going to assist you because once you have that, you won't take your education serious. You won't study the time you are supposed to study. You won't read your notes serious at all so try to avoid thinking that they're going to assist you in your exam because this will take you very far my next tip is to stay away from social media yeah social media is a very big distraction for students who are preparing for an exam 
it is very very distracting so stay and avoid social media if it is possible freeze those applications on your phone and if possible delete those applications for the main time any time you pass you write your exam and pass this exam my next tip is to stay away from movies watching movie is not a good idea it won't help you at all because you are wasting a lot of time watching movies while you are supposed to be using that time to read your books so stay away from watching movies my next tip is to stay away from our serious friends do you have some friends that are serious or who also have the mindset that they are going to assist him in his examination stay away from those kind of friends because just like they say show me your friends and i'll tell you who you are so the kind of friends you mingle with will determine how it reflects on you so stay away from your serious friends and move closer to serious friends that will help your education and my next tip which is the last one is to pray we really can't do anything in this world without praying to god always remember to ask god to help you Pray to God to give you retentive memory. Pray to God to bless you with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to pass your exam. Always put God first. Even though while reading, pray before you read. After reading, pray before you read. When it's time for the exam, when it's time to write the exam, pray before you start. Always put God first. So go ahead now, grab your book, and start reading. Thank you.